What up, Dealy Gang? Dealy Kamal here. Today, or last night, I should say, Konami released the announcement for the new box, Pulse of Quasars. This is going to be the kind of interim filler mini box where we get our, you know, our character event stuff that they are trying to wrap up in the story. This year, we're getting Time Lords and Shooting Quasar Dragon, some other Yusei Synchro support, and the filler archetype in the box looks to be Sulfa Chords. Not an archetype that I knew much about, but I did read all the cards, so I'll give you my brief opinions on them. But let's look at some of the other stuff that did come with the game. Notably, one for one, a card that, you know, has not been in Duel Links because it is a pretty powerful card. This is a Yusei character card. He uses it a lot in the anime. And it basically just allows you to send one card from your hand to the deck to the graveyard to summon a level one monster from the deck. Extremely powerful. And there are many, many targets in the game that are gonna, you know, greatly benefit from this card. And rightfully so, it is being limited to one on release because it is an extremely strong card. So it's gonna be competing with the likes of cards like, you know, reinforcements of the army or any other limit one searcher archetype card that any deck plays so keep that in mind but it's definitely going to be a powerful card for decks like time lords and maybe synchro decks in the future but for the rest of the box looking at it there are some things that i'm quite excited for notably scarlet red dragon archfiend now this is an arc 5 jack atlas card and it is an extremely strong generic level 8 synchro monster once per turn, destroy as many special summon effect monsters on the field as, as possible with attack less than or equal to this card. Inflict 250 to your opponent for each monster. Now, a lot of us laugh at burn damage in Duel Links, but this can actually deal some pretty decent damage to your opponent if you're able to get something like a board wipe off. Now, this is not, not a quick effect, but it is now probably one of the best generic effects that you can bring out at a level 8 synchro. And... Tier Zero Rockets, the best deck, are going to be utilizing this card. And this is an extremely strong boss monster for them. So I'm definitely going into this box to get this Synchro Monster. And I think that any other deck that can make level 8s definitely wants to make this as their new go-to monster. All right. So Time Lords, men. Time Lords, they're Time Lording. They've got their boss monster. They've got the rest of the basic time lords as rares and we've got time made and a lot of people were not thinking we're going to get it so this deck has everything it needs to pop off it's ready for the amano engine it's ready for you know using its skill to fully utilize its strategy and summon seth leon very easily so time lords not much to say on them dude, dude they've got everything they need stardust they are doing their thing as well shooting a riser dragon is not a card that i would thought that uh we would have access to especially at three uh but we may not be able to make busted use of this card yet in duel links so that I, that's why i think uh you know it's going to be kind of kept in line and its success is really not going to be tied to stardust i think you know usually a card like shooting riser dragon which can manipulate its own levels it's probably going to be better utilized in a deck that can you know utilize it more reverse versatilely versatilely that's not a word that could use it better probably like tgs bro tgs are way better at synchro summoning generally they can bring out more monsters in a turn than stardust and they have better effects now i don't think that you know just because there are more synchro decks to bring this out in than just the shooting quiz or dragon deck that you know it'll be better there but uh, i'd like to watch out it's another quick play synchro you know, we don't have many of these, especially outside of the Crystron archetype. So it's pretty good that we are getting this. It's already a an effect that TGs have access to, so it will be very interesting to see what a deck like uh, Junk or Stardust, whatever have you, will make use of that effect. Um, The rest of the Red Dragon stuff. We got Tyrant, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Red Rain. This is a level 10 synchro monster so it's probably only going to see play in resonators because it does need double tuning but then it does have some very good effects the gate spell trap pretty good destroy all cards on the field and yeah man cards need to start coming out with ways to stop speller traps because uh that, that 
I was actually discussing this on stream yesterday. Like, we need to start seeing more of the later game synchro monsters because a lot of these older monsters that, you know, we may not have access to, yet, you know, a lot of them just straight up cannot compete. You know, we saw that with uh, Shooting Star Dragon when it was added to the game. Even though it's an extremely powerful monster, you know, it had really it, real issues being able to compete simply because it is just a monster that has little to no protection against some of the things, some of the removal and interruptions that are just extremely powerful in Duel Links. So, Tower Red Dragon Archfiend, going to be a much needed addition to a deck like Resonators, and it's going to be a very powerful option. What are some of the other decks you think are going to make use of this card? Red Rain, probably going to be used mainly in Resonators as well, but its only requirement is that you uh, control a level 8 or higher Synchro Monster, banish all monsters on the field, a Except the monster with the highest level. Also, the remaining face up monsters in the field are unaffected by other card effects except their own. If a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster is Synchro Summoned to your field while this card is in your graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Now, you know, I'm thinking right now, you know, the best deck that does do level 8 Synchro Monsters um, that's going to be making use of this card, Dark Dragon, it's going to be Rockets, right? Re Resonators, this is, the Res this is the Resonator card, but. I'm thinking about a Rockets because, you know, I think Rockets are the best Dragon deck, of course. But Resonators are going to make great use of this card. Something that they have been needing for a while. Uh, and I believe we figured this card was going to come because a skill mentions it as well. So Resonators, they're up good. And these decks also have some skills that we'll talk about right after we finish talking about the last couple cards here for them. Then we've got Synchro Overtake very very good card however uh i don't know it has a drawback of you uh you cannot spell some monsters from the extra deck this turn except synchro monsters okay never mind so you're good dude real synchro monster and your extra deck choose one of the synchro materials mentioned on and add it to your hand dude and it's at three it's a synchro searcher at three amazing it does not get better than that well, you know i did not think that the New shoot, shooting quasar deck was going to have a lot of the tools it needed to succeed, but a searcher man and quasar is the negate. I don't know. They may have they they may be cooking. I will be very interested to see how Sting uh, pulls off some stuff. And then of course I'm pretty sure the rest of these rares and normals that didn't even give us any new cards for synchros. It's all just like reprints. I'm fairly certain. So let's take a look at the skills for these two decks. Okay, a bond illuminates the future. Each of the following effects can only be used once per duel. You can change the battle positions of set monsters. Send one synchro monster or one level 2 wind warrior type monster with 1000 less attack from your hand to the graveyard. Then add one synchro monster from your deck to your hand and set one synchro chase from outside of your deck. Synchro chase is from Stardust Nexus, that box. Send all monsters you control to your graveyard. If the total of original attack of the monster sent to the graveyard is 2,500 or more, set two random signer dragons with different names out of four from outside of your deck. Can be used turn three and onward. Return one Stardust Dragon from your field slash graveyard to your extra deck, then change the level of all synchro monsters you control to two and set one livestream dragon from outside of your deck. Still can only be used to begin the duel with an extra deck that contains level 10 or a higher light monster and no monsters other than synchro monsters and a deck that contains at least seven level two or lower warrior type machine monsters. Now, this is something that we talked about. This skill actually got leaked a couple weeks ago, and I remember saying that it looked super overtooled, super, uh, you know, just overkitted. Just like it has a bunch of effects to try to make summoning Quasar viable just because it is so much of an ask. And there are a couple more things. The added fact that you would, uh, you know, you sit, the monster that you send must be uh, the Stardust Dragon in order for you to set two random Stardust Dragons. So what does it have to, I mean, two random Cider Dragons? It doesn't have to be Stardust Dragon, but it does imply that it has to be 2500 or more and i think that uh you know it actually does a pretty good job of allowing you to summon it however the second effect is from turn three and onward it says return one stardust dragon from your field or graveyard to the extra then chase a level all circle monsters to two so is this just saying that on turn past 
the turn three of the duel, you'll be able to summon Quasar or on your third turn. You know, I'm going to say that it's on turn three. So they don't want you to just, you know, activate the skill multiple times in one turn and then bring out Quasar. They want you to have to wait another turn. And I believe in most situations, you are probably going to have to wait anyway. So I guess it's not such a big bummer. All right, here's Jack skill. Uh, once per duel by sending a fiend type monster from your hand to your graveyard, send one resident or monster or one level four dark fiend monster from your deck to your graveyard. Uh, then add one level four fire fiend type monster to your hand. You cannot special summon monsters during this duel except for synchro monsters, tuner monsters, and special summoning from the hand. Oh, uh... That is interesting. So you can only special summon synchros, tuners, and special summon from the hand. So you can special summon Wandering King Wild One from the hand, and you can't do any more special summoning except they're of regular monsters. Pretty interesting. Um, one each of the effects per duel and max one effect per turn. If you control Red Dragon Archfiend, return one fiend type monster on your field and one in your hand to their deck. Then set one red rain to your field from your deck. During this turn, defense position resident monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. Ooh, okay, so a couple things here, right? You can either choose to set up red rain once you have Red Dragon Archfiend and just another monster, or you can allow your resonator monsters to live on the field or you know because the, the effect here is that when you activate red dragon archfiend's effect or like when it, it activates when um it does not when monsters do not attack they become destroyed but i guess this is also preventing your resonator monsters from just being destroyed in general so i guess that's just going to protect them from like uh like any effect i was looking at uh to see if these skills were in the game but they're not yet so looking back here and then we'll continue on with sulfur chords after this um these effects just destroy right destroy as many special summon effect monsters on the field so this will this second effect will just make sure that your resonators are not destroyed by your own monsters effects and uh that's pretty cool i guess i mean the main draw of this skill is still the setup that it allows you to do, you know, setting a fiend type from your hand in a graveyard, like, you know, doing all this stuff, setting up your synchro summon is the main draw, and then setting up red rain. This other thing is just like an added bonus that allows you to keep follow up on the field without uh, your own synchro monsters wiping your board. So, not a bad skill. Now, sulfur chords, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not going to read Sulfur Chords to you guys. I read them last night. They are a pretty interesting Pendulum deck. And I think that they're one of... They seem like one of the better Pendulum decks. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're as good as Metal Fills, but they do seem pretty cool. They've got a lot of inherent turn one protection on the scales, right? This one, the SR Coolia, says your put if not activate spell trap cards or monster effects when your... Sulfur Cord Pendulum Monsters is Pendulum Summon. That means they're just not going to be able to respond. And it's also got a lot of cool effects. And all of the Sulfur Cord uh, Pendulums, they all have one of these effects that gives you protection while they're in the scales. And I think this is pretty cool because we're coming off of Pendulum decks that usually destroy their own scales most of the time, uh, you know, just for Searchers and the Sulfur Cords. They actually are, you know, making use of the scale sticking around to protect your Pendulum Summon monsters. So I think that that is cool, and I think that, you know, maybe they're going to be a cool deck. I think they've got a lot of the a lot of potential, but they're definitely a turn one deck. Uh, you know, with going second, without them having a lot of this inherent protection on their scales, I do think they do seem pretty vulnerable. So if there's any Sulfur Cord enthusiasts in the chat, let me know. A couple th other things to point out in this box. This is the Yazi reprint box. So if you ever were playing Rose Dragon, but you never went to the selection box, you can go get your Yazi. Something interesting here. There's a Trimid card here, and it is a rare dude. This is a continuous spell. 
Unless you search a tribe and spell trap when a field spell is placed. If a face of rock is destroyed by battle or opponent's card fingers, you special somebody tribe and monster with a different name from your deck, dude. This is pretty good. Wow. And, you know, I'm really wondering why this is a rare. You know, we were just talking yesterday about, you know, what would happen if Konami just started releasing missing support cards for old decks. And Trimans was one of those decks that I was thinking about. Us getting tri mid loading, guys. What other cards would you like to see in the position of tri mid loading in future boxes? Just little off one, one off, two off cards that we're missing from archetypes. I think this is the stuff that we uh, need to see more of in the game. But guys, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it from me today. Let me know what you think about the box. Pulse of the Quasars, I am going to be going in solely for Scar Red, Sc Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. That is going to be the only card that I think is worth you going into for general use. Everything else I think is pretty, pretty specific. You know, the more Red Dragon stuff that's going to be for Resonators, Sulfur Chords or Sulfur Chords. The Quasar stuff, you know, you're really not going to be making general use of a card like Quasar. It's just going to be for that deck. You have to go all in on that. Shooting Riser Dragon, a very interesting tech card. If you like Synchro decks in general, maybe you dabble in TGs. And, you know, Time Lords are Time Lord, and man, play that a mono deck. Uh, you know, depending on how many, how much stuff you need from this box for the deck, you're definitely going to need three Time Maiden, right? So maybe it's not worth it. But, you know, if it interests you, if you got, if you got nothing else... That Amano Awato Time Lord deck does seem pretty spicy. So, guys, let me know what you think about the box. Thank you for coming through. I am sorry my camera is not set up. I am in the midst of uh, moving around, changing my setup. So, please allow me a couple days to get that set up. I appreciate you guys' patience. And uh, peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.